Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. Alex, remember to hit record this time. I'm <laughs> one of to. your hosts, Eli. Oh, sitting aside for me, of course, Alex. How are you? I'm good. How are you, you good? Do- yeah. I'm very good. How are you doing? It's a little gloomy outside, but other than that, we're pretty good. Yeah, man. It's been raining a lot. Yes, it has. Very much. I, it, 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 see, the I, thing is with that, like a couple of weeks ago, uh-huh. I kept complaining Right, there was no rain. Mm. It was too sunny. It's You're too like, hot. Ah, it's my hot, grass it's is dying. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, now, no, it's nothing but rain, and it aggravates me because I'm like, it's all gloomy. I take my dogs out. I forget they're outside. <laughs> they come back in. They're soaking wet, and I feel terrible. <laughs> now there's no sun. Just in case you don't know, we live in Georgia, so it does get very hot, and then when the rain comes, it's very refreshing, but this isn't rain. This is more like downpour, where yeah. it's just so much out of nowhere and yeah it happened so fast yeah and like it's funny because um i don't live far from where i work yeah but the drive to work like is like night and day yeah i'll just drive for a little bit it's like see it's like 20 minutes he's like have you ever seen the movie the The fog (laughs) you tried to drive i haven't what terrible movie did you watch (laughs) i didn't i don't watch it either i just remember the movie the fog Mm -hmm. and it looks like that so it's just a bunch of fog everywhere you can't see shit it reminds me of um the happening i don't know why oh i never okay. watched it either but with mark Wahlberg, i watched it <laughs> oh my god that, that movie's about a bunch of trees wanting to kill people it's it's the plants i know it's, it's a bit more sophisticated or whatever but it looks go watch stupid. it mark mark's in it the ending was really dumb too i watched nostalgia critic do a thing about it yeah hilarious yeah <laughs> What do we do again? Oh, yeah, gaming podcast. Let's get back to that. Uh, if you did not know, this is the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, where we go over the previous week in gaming. If you like that, please check out us on all the podcast services and YouTube every Friday. If you want it early and enjoy that content and you want to support us, please head over to patreon.com slash Achievers. You get a bunch of benefits like the Patreon exclusive episode, like, again, getting our episodes early. More support means more podcasts, means better podcasts and also eventually we'll live stream them we'll get into that later then we see it, we're doing something right yeah see yeah also it tells us we're doing something good like oh hey keep this up all right once i get an extra dollar i'm like okay what did i do right what did <laughs> right? i do right <laughs> i gotta figure out what it was and i gotta keep doing that if you're a freeloader don't worry we are too please five star us everywhere give us a like check out our socials twitter at evm9000 and at crazy flip skater for mr alex over there um before we get all crazy Let's get into the week a little bit preview. It's a very much heavy week this week. Lots of news. We're just going to skim the top three. We got Trump blaming video games for mass shootings. E3 uh, had a huge leak and Anthem with new update. Mm. But before we get into that, Alex. What's up? What have you been playing? Literally nothing. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, I, I, I dabbled with some Fortnite here and there. Yeah, but you watched I just, some Godzilla thing, right? The, yeah, the new the new Godzilla. Oh, how was that thing? Very good, R- right? It was good. I enjoyed it. Which one was this? Godzilla Kings of Monsters. Is that what it's called? That's King, the new yeah, it's one. King of the Monsters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it pretty much, I mean, it's no spoilers. They're all in the posters. King <laughs> Ghidra, mm-hmm. Rodan, Mothra, mm-hmm. Godzilla himself is on it. The, the the trailers looked really good. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, watch it. Is it one of those movies where it's like you'll see Godzilla for half of it? Um, no, you actually, you, get a good you, bit? you do see more of him than you did in the, for, in the 2014 one. Okay. Um, I mean, of course it's Godzilla, so you kind of have to have, they're going to put in, you know, everybody, talk, 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 talk. Then there's scenes with Godzilla, <laughs> then there's talk, 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 talk. <laughs> but this one actually did more with it because I'm just was, picturing a guy walking by, that's a crazy, there's a giant lizard outside. <laughs> yep. Yeah, if back to the lizard. <laughs> yeah. But no, there was a lot more monsters in this one, so uh-huh. they had to emphasize on each one. And, mm. So, I mean, runtime with Godzilla, there was more than what it was. But okay. I enjoyed it. had fun with it. Mm-hmm. Best thing about this whole movie, mm-hmm. they brought his theme back. Oh. Uh, and I was his theme not in the other ones? In the 2014 one, though, uh-huh. though it was a couple years ago, the uh-huh. re- like reboot or refresh or whatever it was. Right. They they didn't have his theme to where like you know when he that comes out dumb. when he comes out if you're familiar with Godzilla mm-hmm. like when once he's about to get pumped up at a fight or something's <laughs> about to happen and destroy something he's like psyching get, himself up like, you got this man you got this I'm Godzilla yeah. Zilla God all right yeah. let's do this you, get, you hear his you hear his it's his theme song the yeah. dun-dun, dun-dun. Like, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, I was like I don't know Godzilla's song but when you did it I, I, I yeah, it popped that, in my head yeah so and you're like, you're like oh this is you know I'm getting pumped 
nothing. It wasn't in the movie. I mean, I love the 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 twenty fourteen one, but I was it wasn't giving me that feel. We're like, all right, it's it's Godzilla. This one, it gave it to me, and he was fighting Ki- Ghidra. It's awesome. I enjoyed it. I like King Ghidra. He likes a. Uh, I, I like he's a three headed. So one thing about this dope. dude, he, the, those effects on him, he mm. looks he looks great. He lo- this is probably the best Ghidra I've seen. Oh well, of course. I mean, the, the special I mean, yeah, effects are course. all yeah, but, better now. But like the the way they sh- did everything, like like they made like the two heads interact with each other like a hydra. Oh, thing. that's cool. Like one of them like bumped into the other one, the other one got upset <laughs> in a way. So like it was kind of, it's kind of cool. That's cool. But yeah, yeah I like it, that. Really good. Other than that, though, I mean. Fortnite <laughs> dabbled in. I've been watching a lot of TV shows. I just haven't been in the mood to pl- actually sit Nothing and play wrong that. With it. Of course, we all yeah. get that. Spirit. I'm sure a lot of people listening to the podcast have too, right? You yeah, get that spirit you get where you're like, spirit. what do I play? And then you look and you're like, nothing, nothing. I don't want to play this. I'm waiting on control at the end this. of this month. Mm, that will get you back. Yeah, that'll be a good, good, just good something get you back new. Thing, right? I want something new. Just right. right now, I've just been dabbling mm-hmm. on Netflix, watching other shows, movies, and stuff like that. I've been red eyeing uh, Fire Emblem. Yeah. Just nonstop. Yeah. How are you liking it? It's one of those games where it's like I'm playing it so much and I'm like, God, <clears throat> like this game is long and I love it. Well, usually aren't aren't they usually long? I mean, yes. it's a JRPG. So yes, I'm they assuming they're long. Yeah, yeah. they are long. It's just you forget. <laughs> I'm thirty five hours probably God, into the I'm game. Like, I'm like twenty minutes. I think <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not your game. I don't think. Um, but I do love the game, of course. Uh, same thing as last episode. I'm, of course, further along, so I've just, just in case you're playing it, um, I'm in the, t- I don't think it's a spoiler. I'm in the time skips. Okay. Uh, there's a time skip in the game, so that's okay. a good way. I just hit that part, and I'm a little bit after that. Yeah. Pe- anybody who listens and they play it, they'll understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, really good. If you guys want to talk about it, I'm so down to talk about this. Hit, hit me up on Twitter or something. All right. Um, moving on, of <laughs> course, we're going to hit... Not an exciting story, but we're going to talk about it anyways. Trump blames video (sighs) games for shootings. This This is over by Politico by a Quint Forgey. President Donald Trump on Monday spread blame for two mass shootings over the weekend, condemning white supremacy while calling for uh, changes to mental health laws and criticizing violent video games. But Trump sidestepped major uh, proposals to crack down on guns in a televised address and did not acknowledge Democrats' claims that his inflammatory immigration rhetoric has contributed to violence like Saturday's attack in El Paso, Texas. The gunman accused of killing 22 people at a Walmart in the southwestern border town is suspected of authoring a racist, anti-Hispanic manifesto before the rampage. Quote, in one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. These sinister ideologies must be defeated, end quote. Trump said the president has floated on Twitter earlier Monday tying changes to background checks for Fire Emblem sales to immigration reform, but made no mention of that proposal three hours later when delivering his prepared remarks. I don't want to go too deep in this. This is a very long recap of everything into it. Um, If you are more interested, of course, Politico, uh, just type in the story. We thought it was a good idea to bring this up because, again, we are a weekly podcast that goes over the previous week in games yes. so we wanted to hit on this um this is classic misdirection alex yeah if you did not know mr uh president donald trump is very good at misdirecting uh what he does is when he has a issue he just redirects it to something else and then people argue about that and then he moves on to something else mm-hmm. once it blows over after a week or two this is all this is uh there is going to be no video game reform he's not going to say there is a ban on this there is a ban on that None of that's going to happen. I don't I mean, think anything's changing. Yeah, because I this mean, is just uh, a misdirection. Yeah, this is to get people to not think about a uh, gun change. Yeah, because I mean, how long have video games been out? Especially, I mean, I mean, if you want to take uh, at the Atari, what 1981? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's let's say with the, the like first that. the first shooting game, which was could be what around Doom time. Yeah, let's say Doom. Doom. So 1985 around there. Yeah. So it's been around since the early mm-hmm. 80s. Mm-hmm. I mean. Uh, I, I just, yeah, it's definitely a topic where it's like this is kind like, of why like is dies once up? you start talking yeah. because there's nothing really to back it up. Um, a popular thing going around is uh, this: there's video games everywhere, and U.S. is the only place that really has these problems. Yeah, like so why? that's an easy way to bring it up. It's like I mean, wh- why is it fine in the U.K.? Yeah, and then I mean, the, yeah, there's video, there's there's shooting games everywhere. Mm-hmm. Why is it? I mean, why is it a problem mm-hmm. just because it's here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, big issue. Um, there's a lot of people angry on Twitter. Um, if you are either one way or another, remember, vote. Always vote. 
Um, if you do not vote, you can't really complain that much because you didn't vote. So go vote for, I don't care which one you sign. If you want more guns, vote for more guns. If you don't, don't, uh, vote against guns. I, uh, I do not follow any rhetoric of, uh, forcing anyone to vote the way I want to. So vote your conscience vote whatever you think is best in the upcoming election. Moving on. E3 leaks data for over two thousand journalists and analysts this broke Jesus. the uh, august 2nd i believe and um crazy i was just on twitter and it hit me like when i hit a refresh button mm-hmm. and it just poof, e3 leaks this people are complaining very angry everyone that basically signed up for an e3 badge yeah. got all of their information leaked and i'm talking email Jesus. addresses i'm talking some people, I think, actual addresses. Yeah. So it's straight up doxing of everybody. Um, we are going to be reading from Venture Beat by uh, Mr. Jeff Grub. If you attended the Electronic Entertainment Expo E3 trade show this year with a media badge, it's possible that some of your sensitive data is now public. Each year, the Entertainment Software Association, the ESA, who runs E3, uh, hands out hundreds of quote, press badges to certain members of the press. To get one of these badges, I have given the organization my name, my phone number, my home address, and more each year for the last half decade. That info goes into a spreadsheet that the ESA hands out to its member companies. This makes it easier for those companies to invite press to E3 events and meetings. Up until yesterday, however, that list was acceptable to anyone who clicked on a button on the ESA website as first spotted by YouTube creator Sophie Narwitz, which is crazy that a YouTube creator was like, Hmm. I'm going to show everyone that you could do this, and it's crazy. Since then, the ESA has removed the spreadsheet from its site, but it did not do that before other people were able to download it. At this point, it's impossible to tell who has the list. This failure to adequately secure sensitive data does not just expose games journalists. It confirmed with someone who has access to the list with the ESA's permission that it contains info for YouTube creators, Wall Street Journal finalists, analysts at firms like Wedbush and Goldman Sachs, and Tencent employees. We're also going to read a plug from the ESA on their reaction to the data leak. Quote, ESA was made aware of a website vulnerability vulnerability that led to the contact list of registered journalists intending E3 being made public. Once notified, we immediately took steps to protect the data and shut down the site, which is no longer available. We regret this occurrence and have put measures in place to ensure it will never occur again. End quote. That basically sums up what happened. Alex insane this happens all so simple it was just a button on the website that someone i guess i don't know if they hit a button or if someone Mm. hacked the website and just put it there but crazy don't you aren't you glad we didn't get the e3 media badge now (laughs) no (laughs) no me either (laughs) um i still want to go but that's terrible for everyone involved i did hear murmurs of um people getting sued yeah so that sucks yeah, for I them. Mean, yeah, because, I mean, that's a lot of private Perfect. information. Yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah, a lot of private. I mean, that's where people live. Yep. It's crazy. And upsetting. If I was someone in there and my yeah. stuff got leaked, I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. like I, I'm, I mean, I'm expecting someone to be at my house momentarily. Yeah, like, so, like, I mean, this since this happened and they said they're not going to occur again, I mean, how are they really going to make sure of that? Because right. a lot of people are probably going to have them? that trust. How do you trust How do you come back next year? Yeah. To be like, oh, like, I don't want this to happen again. You never know what's going to happen. And it's not like it was bad enough for E3 because, of yeah. course, the passing E3 wasn't as good as previous years, I'd mm-hmm. say, um, only because we're in that weird space between generations where we're like we're we're Waiting. like almost done, yeah. but like not done enough to announce new stuff. Yeah. So there just wasn't as much as usual, and what a way to blow up E3. Yeesh. Very curious if people actually stand by their word. No. Because I've seen a lot of people being like, well, not, I'm not going back to E3 now again, or I'm not, I, you know, they've yeah. lost my trust. Very curious if they keep their word and not come back. Mm. Now to what you just said, since this th- happened now, there's been, you know, talks about how, you know, E3, you know, is not as good as it used to. Right. It's. It, do you think it's going away? Do you think it's 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 losing its value as a, like con- like, you know, it's E3, like it used to be like great. Like, it used to be awesome, and a lot of people are saying to her, like, oh, it's not as good anymore. I'm not going. There's no point in having it anymore. Like, what's your, do you think? What's my take? Yeah, what's your um, take on that? My take is it is still a great trade show, regardless yeah. of uh, the and, statement, I believe, um, PlayStation 
had said uh, that the, it's a trade show that not much trade happens anymore. Yeah. For small time creators like my, me and you, yeah, it would be fantastic to go down there oh, to God, shake yeah. hands, to give our, our, you know, hey, this is us. We run this. Yeah, this no, is I'd, us on here. We that's why I was like, I, I still out love watching it. I you still know, love it. Though. It's good for that. I think, I don't think E3 will go away. I think it, it gets smaller. I don't think, I think it becomes more like Gamescom, like PAX, yeah. PAX East, PAX West, it gets sl- just slightly smaller and not as uh, bloated. Yeah. Um, I think I think people start moving away to go into other conferences because E3, I think, used to have much more reverence than it did now yeah. because E3 was kind of it. Nothing else was really broadcast yeah, now that important. Yeah, now right? there's a lot. If you there's remember PAX G4, PAX West. Yeah. The only reason people knew what E3 was because eventually G4, G4 put it on. Yep. And it, that got bigger because people could have something to watch. They don't have to mm-hmm. drive. Or I mean, I, fly. I remember I used to watch Attack of the Show, and yep. they were talking. about And they all would that host stuff. over there X Play. They yep. would have giant day. They would be. It would be. That was yeah. The conferences and then three days of coverage, and I would watch oh, all God, of it. Yes, I would watch all of it, Alex. Yeah, and I mean it. The, Oh, we're breaking it down. There you go. Godzilla's coming. Oh, is it Godzilla? Yeah, that's Godzilla thing. Digging it. Yeah. We're going to get claimed for but that. But no, it's my grandpa <laughs> calling me. <laughs> I'll call uh, him back later. Uh, but yeah, I yeah, just... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, there's so many. There's PAX East, PAX West. Mm-hmm. I mean, RT... Uh, what is it? RTX? RTX, yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, there's just so many. So, I mean, do you, th- uh, do you think it's... If it keeps going, do you think it's going to be equal to them or do you still do you think still it's still gonna be elevated i think because it just garners just, so much attention yeah for instance random joe schmo who plays call of duty every year mm-hmm. knows about e3 yeah right guy who buys madden still knows about e3 yep he doesn't necessarily know about PAX East. He doesn't know about PAX West That's or PAX point. South. He doesn't yeah. know about any of that stuff. He knows what E3 is, though. Yeah. There's a reason E3 has so many viewers, yeah. like on Twitch, YouTube. It's like, it's pretty much, it's, I mean, it's always been the Super Bowl of video games. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way of describing it. Yeah. Just like, everyone tunes in. Everyone has something to talk about the next two weeks. We're like, oh, did you yeah. see this happen? Oh, like, it's, a, it's the, pretty much the main event that everybody comes together with. Yep. Yep, it, it's a it is a special time where it's like oh we get yeah. like we get to hang out again. Yeah, you know? that's and why I'm I'm, I'm hoping it ne- it won't go away. I don't like, think it will. like now there is a huge chance that this makes it go away. They get sued into oblivion. That's, that's and, my and, thing. And that's and why I, either E three goes away or someone else takes E three. Yeah, and rebrands they, it. Yeah, re, that's what I was about to say. Rebrands it, revisions it. If so, you know the suing and all that goes through, I just hope it's still around. Cause I do too. Because I, of course, uh, I mean, I'll be honest. I want to go. Oh God, yes. Of course, That'd even after this, I still want to go. Which is which sucks, but I just I want to yeah. go so bad. Because I've been following E three since I was ten. I want to say yeah, ten it's, years it's old. Been, probably. It's, yeah, it's been over ten years. I think. I think, and I've just. Ah, it would be such a dream to go there, of course. And again, like, you get to walk around, meet people. You, you get to be like, oh, hey, this is me from this site. And you get to shake hands and get to know people. Uh, uh, the main reason most uh, content creators go is, is to create contacts like that. Create, hey, this is, uh, I'm Elijah from Easy Achievers. Here's my card. Hit yeah. me up if you need some help with coverage or if you got an idea that's something I would like to Yeah, to I mean, it's just meeting new people that you have, they have this, like, same visions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, you never mm-hmm. know yet. I mean, that's probably how people got connections there. Of course, right. You're yeah. like, oh, yeah, hey, you need something? I got you. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk, mm-hmm. talk to this guy or whatever, and you, they just hook you up. Exactly. I mean, it's just everybody's, everybody's like, friends everybody's together because yeah. they're all working on the same thing yeah, yeah 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 everyone scratches each other's backs yeah moving on to call of duty modern warfare's multiplayer hands-on rebuilding call of duty from the guns up this is over at game Saw by phil horshaw this is a long breakdown i'm not going to get into everything but oh this basically goes into everything that they've redone they're on a new engine they are uh mm. they basically redid most if not all the models and guns in the game um, there's a bunch of crazy new map ideas that they put in. Like they describe different types of, hey, we made this map in order to have this specific gameplay with this team and things like that. They go into the new guns and the <coughs> new attachments, the crazy atta- – like you can have a regular gun and you can attach it in five different ways. Um, of course, uh, this doesn't have zombie modes, but they did say there, there is going to be the spec ops mode instead. Cool. Um, that was another thing that was reiterated in this. Um, yeah, um, I I've noticed that they said before that they were trying to move away from the three lane style shooter maps. 
it's hard for yeah. me to see them as three lane. Like I can I can see it after a while, but like at while I'm playing, mm-hmm. I don't really I can't really tell that it's a three lane because I mean you going I you're mean, still really, going through like, buildings and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. Like basically every Call of Duty map, not every, but yeah. most Call of Duty maps, you can break it down to three lanes. Yeah. One one on each side, and then there's it, three areas you'd go to. Yeah. Like I can see it now, but like that you, as the like you I, remember airport from one over two, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so Three you got lanes. the one on the left, yeah. that one thing in the middle, and the and one then, on the end. And then the straight lane in there. That's yeah. just one I just I mean, randomly yeah. picked from my brain. Air, That's a good airport. point. Yeah. Because you're, like, because you're like thinking about it, but mm-hmm. as you're playing it, you're not thinking about it. Yeah, because of course, I mean, unless you can unless go you're in the high middle, level you play. can go through the air. Yeah, I mean, like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, there, cool, something though. I just saw that just popped my eye. Much like the original Modern Warfare, using guns earns you points that allow you to unlock new attachments for those specific weapons. Your earnings also transfer between modes, so you can level up your guns in single player or spec oh, ops and really? retain all your ch- uh, attachments when you hop into multiplayer. That's cool. I did not know that. That is I awesome. That's cool. um, that is really cool. Um, through Infinity Ward is trying to make uh, Modern Warfare's modes feel more unified. The effort raises. The question of how multiplayer interacts with the single player campaign during the first reveal of the game. Well, uh, narrative director Taylor Kurosaki explained that part of the studio's approach to Modern Warfare was to tell more realistic stories that delved into the gray areas of morality and the right and wrong in war. Another snippet of, hey, we're going to get around that gray area where it's going to make you uncomfortable, but that's where we want you to be. We want you to not necessarily be comfortable with everything because these are all terrible, terrible things. Uh, Kurosaki. That's what it was. Ah, I was Thank trying you. to find the. Mm-hmm. This is just so Where's much. Where's this name? Yeah. yeah, this is a long hour. Again, go over to GameSpot for that full breakdown. This is very. It gives you everything. Um, the guns look awesome. The FAMAS um, is back. I yeah, see. the HUD. The HUD is actually. I'm actually really liking the HUD. I mean, it's not so much heard, different, but I like that they have added the it's compass. Clean, it's clean, right? No, yeah, it's very yeah, clean yeah, and yeah. sharp. Uh, the compass is at the top. Which is pretty cool. I've I've always liked the compass area because I mean like I like to know where I'm facing when like they actually show the hit mark or the little dots or whatever or the it looks like diamonds Har- where the enemies were. Hardcore is back where you like your yeah. HUD goes away too. Yeah, I think there's I think it's limited to where it's just your gun or something like that. Okay, that's really cool. There's a new search and destroy called Cyber Attack. Ooh, where you um you uh one team f- uh, goes against another team. It's search and destroy, and there is one bomb, and you have to place it on the other base. But if you kill that person that has the bomb, you pick that bomb up and go to the other side of the map. Hmm. So it's like search and destroy, but you're moving the bomb to a base. If you get the bomb, you now have the bomb. You have to place it over there. And everyone has one life, of course, but you can revive people. Oh, wow. So if someone goes down, you just revive them back and, cool. and you go back over there. So That's either cool. you, you know, if, if you get wiped or like you, one person's left, you can either, hey, should I go for the bomb or should I wait and revive everybody? You know, like the little things like that. So um, when we watched the the reveal, right, they were saying that they had a bunch of new maps. They're like, you know, they had made all new maps and stuff like that. Yeah. Did they ever specify they were retur- have returning maps? Because there's, there, there's two screenshots on here. They look like that they, they're just revamped of the original maps. So there's one, if you go, uh, I think it's not the sec, or like pretty much one of the, the first or second picture, I second guess. Picture? Okay. Yeah, it shows, it's right under redesigning oh, the playing that's field. that's 100%. Yeah, you know, you can go through that yeah. pipe and go underneath mm-hmm. and you go over. Mm-hmm. So that's like, that's I, 100% uh, that I forget what that one's called. I don't remember. But yeah, but it, that's that one looks that like map. a revamp. And yeah. if you scroll... One, two, three. Oh, if if it, it, it also for audio listeners, it, it looks like um it, it it if I remember correctly, it was in it's Call of Duty Iraq, Four. Yeah. Call of Duty Four: Modern Warfare. Yep. I think that the map was in the Iraq area in one of the single player missions. Yep. And the middle a, had like a street. It had a bunch yep. of uh, v- uh, vehicles, tanks in the middle, all like crashed down. Mm-hmm. And then there was two sides. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so if you're a Call of Duty player from there, yeah, you'll, you'll understand. remember that. Yeah, there's yeah. a pipe underneath you can go through. That people mm-hmm. always camp. People, you, people always oh, God. Uh, hit the... Uh, there was one area that had the house. You would stand up and snipe people. Yep, yep. And uh, But that, that looks like that map. And then there's another like one map. to where it looks like... Uh, uh, you remember in Call of Duty Four where the guy gets you like there's that scene to where you're inside the taxi and you're that guy you play yes. as the guy that's about to get executed. Yes. There's like that statue thing mm-hmm. in the middle. If you keep scrolling down, there's a one of I them that, that looks one. like yeah. the, it looks like that too. Yeah, it's like that the little does. area. Yeah. 
So I'm wondering if, if they have like revamped old maps. I'm sure that'd be will. cool because I miss some of the old maps too. I'm sure their map packs will also have revamped ones too, right? Well, and they said all the DLC is free. Yep. No That's season crazy. pass. That's crazy. No season pass. That is awesome. All free. So you just buy the so game. So you just $60 you just game. Keep coming back. Full, actually done game. No yeah. DLC. <laughs> <laughs> That's very exciting. Yes. Uh, this is sticking with Call of Duty. They announced betas. This is over on IGN by Miranda Sanchez. Infinity Wars, Real Magic, blah, blah, blah. We're getting in that. Play, PlayStation 4, early Modern Warfare beta. Early access is September 12th through the 13th. You have to have it pre-ordered. The open beta for everybody is September 14th through the 16th. PC, Xbox One, and PS4 again. Both of these betas are early access for them on September 19th and 20th. And the open beta is 21st, 20th, 23rd. And so they're cross-play. Yes, forgot about that. The crossplay game is between cross everybody. Play. So I'm talking console, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Yep. Crossplay. The game is going to be crossplay, which is everybody. awesome. That is dope. I can play I'm with so Alex excited. on my PlayStation or my Xbox. Yep. Doesn't matter. Yep, because we have friends that and they I'm like assuming PlayStation there's more. cross progression. Oh God, I hope. I don't see. Uh, online, there's no I'm way. I'm assuming they don't, right? online progression. Yes, story. I don't think so because I'm in two. I'm in the save files. For for story would be different. For online, it's just inf- it's just information for your level. Curious, because I'm curious. It's like Fortnite, you know, you cross play on that, so yeah. it's, it's just an online thing. But yeah. with with story, I don't think so. I'd be curious if cross progression cross platforms too. So like, I'm playing my Xbox guy, I get on PlayStation, it's the same guy. Oh, I would assume, yeah, yeah for online, assume, right? yeah, yeah, for yeah. online, yeah. That's cool. Again, uh, look out for those open betas. If you want it early, you do have to pre-order it. Open beta does start on those dates I specified. Uh, moving on to Fortnite. Fortnite Season X or 10 sees Epic Hit It Giant Undo Button. This is over by GameSpot by Chris Pereira. Uh, this basically goes into the new season that just came out August 1st, I think. I think it was August yes. 1st. Um, it goes into the redone map. Uh, specifically, they did, if you play the game, it's called Dusty uh, Depot. They uh, replaced, they brought it back because timeline shifted and the meteor never hit it now. So the meteor is just yep. sitting in the map, which is really cool. And then um, earlier today, they released a new update that made the Tilted Tower into call, uh, what's called Tilted Town. Tilted Town is a... You basically go through a rift into an old west style town of tilted and you turn into a cowboy which is really yeah, cool and cool. all the weapons there are cowboy <laughs> specified so mm-hmm. it's a revolver hunting rifle a, yeah a rifle um yeah. sawed off shotgun pump shotgun yep. all those That's the buildings really cool. yeah they're not breakable uh, yes you can't, oh, you can't uh, mine. of course yeah you can't break anything there's no building too which yeah so really it's, cool. It, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's really like, cool to have such a crazy game change yeah. aspect in the game where all you have to do is go to one area and mm-hmm. the game is completely different. Yeah, it looks pretty cool because I was I was just playing Red Dead and I'm still kind of feeling it because I want to go back to the first one. I just don't own it. I heard I heard that everyone gets excited because of this spring like this excites the like original diehard people like yeah. to get them back into the yeah. game. That, that that gets people excited. Yeah, so it looks fun. I'm gonna play that tonight. Yep, I will probably play it sometime to get those challenges done. Of course. Oh God, yeah. Uh, Pokemon Go has been downloaded more than a billion times. This is by uh, this is over on IGN by Alyssa Judge. Uh, a couple of weeks after its third birthday, Pokemon Go has reached the one billion download milestone. It can't reach how many Pokemon there are in the world. <laughs> That doesn't necessarily mean there are 1 billion active Pokemon Go players. And a portion of those figures probably come from re-downloads after players come back to the game after a break. However, it is still a significant milestone for the mobile game. Insane. I mean, yeah, I just re-downloaded I'm sure I helped with that number. Another uh, number you'd want to hear, industry analyst Sensory Data has also pointed out that the game has grossed an estimated 2.5. Six five billion worldwide across the App Store and Google Play. Jesus. I figure that positions it above both Clash Royale and Candy Crush Saga. Dude, you know you've made that Candy Crush. You know you've made insane money when you say you've made money than than Cash, uh, Clash Royale and Candy Crush Saga. Because I I never hear people shut up about those two games. Yeah, I'm always hearing Candy Crush. My dad loved Clash Royale and my stepmom loved Candy Crush. Mm-hmm. They were just that was their thing. They just kept yep. playing that game. Cool. Yep. Good for Pokemon Go. Did you play much Pokemon Go? I did before. Uh, I actually have, went back. I haven't gone back to it. You but haven't I, gone back. No, I want to go back. Or how like how? how uh, last I 
maybe four months ago was oh, the last okay. time. So yeah, not too far. I actually haven't done the Team Go Rocket mm, thing, so I want to check that out. Me either. I want to. I want to too, just because I think you, there's a better chance of getting rare people. Yeah. When you do that, and also you get to fight them. Kind of like yeah, so I just want to go back and just check it out, just to have it. Me too, me too. I want to, I want to get those cool ones, and then of course, like kept. I, I have it. Finally, have a Charizard. Oh yeah, yeah. Finally, that's really all I want. I was like, okay, I have a Charizard. I can relax now. Yeah, that's all I want. <laughs> I wanted was an Arcanine, and I finally got it. So I'm like, all right, I'm good. You're good, good enough. Yeah, <laughs> so it's not my buddy. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Electronic Arts says its customers just aren't that interested in Switch versions. This is uh, over on Kotaku by Ethan Gatch. Give me a skate on Switch. <laughs> <laughs> the Sims on Switch seems like a no-brainer. It's a chill game about managing the daily life of virtual human beings where high-end graphics and frame rate doesn't really matter. In a recent earning call, however, the head of Electronic Arts explained how the publisher sees things differently and why it hasn't brought The Sims, or much of anything else really, to Switch. Quote, anytime we're evaluating platform conversations, we are really looking at a couple of things. End quote. Why? I mean, do they not want more money? It's very strange I mean, to make this very specific I mean, thing. I mean, yes, I, I guess it would cost money to be there to do that port. But There's n- no way it doesn't cost not as like I mean, much. It you're, doesn't you're, make their money I f- back. I feel, yeah, I was about to say, I feel like you'll earn more. Sims by itself oh would god make yes back. you know the amount of times i've heard people talking or want sims and look how much dlc 4 has they actually released it for free because what, yeah really? they released it for free i don't know if it still is i don't know if it was limited time or yeah. whatever on origin oh really and if you down if, uh they made it for free and i'm sure they did that so you would buy expansions because there is so, so many much, expansion yeah. it's crazy i think there's like 29 expansions or something like that or like 30 i, I wanted I, to like, try it but like i tried three couldn't get into I've it. I've just never been a Sims guy. Yeah. As a kid, I was. It I played cool. Sims 2 on PS2. Yeah. Whew, me and my sister loved that yeah. game. We played that all the time. That was awesome. Yeah, I've um, only seen stuff about it. I just never tried it. And I why would, you, why would you think they say this? Do, oh, like not. Yeah, yeah why, like, why, would, why would you think they would be like, yeah, we don't think we people want our games on Switch? Um, I think it's because they're, they're, most of their games are more mature. And Nintendo okay. is more for kid based. Okay. At least. Uh, I'm, I very mean, strange though because Bethesda. That didn't see that. Yeah. yeah. And I, that's that's why I, I was like, I don't know. I feel like. I mean, that sure, or, I don't know why they wouldn't just put sports on. I mean, or well, they do have sports. They have. They have FIFA. Yep. I don't think it's come out. Like a new FIFA hasn't come out since 18, I believe. Nope. And neither is a NBA. So surely they have data that says. Unless. Yeah. No one bought that. But again, like. Like I feel like they could do more, at least old like, ports of something. That or like okay, they didn't want it FIFA or NBA in there. Yeah, put put. I mean, they got speed. S- yeah, skate. Like you said, like these are. I don't know. I don't run giant corporations. I don't want to seem like I know everything, but I just don't understand I mean, why they don't just re-release things. I mean, re-release I'm, I mean, skate I'm one, sure. two, and three on Switch. Why I mean, not? I, I I don't understand. I'm sure that question has been asked. Of course. But they're probably I don't I don't know. I'm sure they're not. like, well, we're worried about Star Wars, like these big properties. Like yeah. we're not worried about Skate. Yeah, like, you I know, mean, maybe that's why. The amount of people, I f- I would buy them. I, I, right maybe now. they just don't believe you. Mirror's Edge is a perfect example, right? I bought it. People can compl- yeah, We did, yes. Yeah. That w- that's not our fault. Like we helped Mirror's Edge. Yeah. No uh, one else did though. I also, they Mirror's didn't make Edge. a great game. That's partially their fault too. Yeah. But. I, maybe they see things with Mary Edge or, oh, we're going to bring back Mary's Edge for the fans. No one buys it. And I'm like, okay, well, yeah. we, they, we can't win. We do things for the fans. They don't buy it. We, we, we screw people over and they buy it. Like, maybe they're in a predicament. But there's just predicament. people that did buy it. So it's, it's, it's very it's strange. Fair. I would love to talk to the CEO. I never will. But I would love to talk to just someone, PR, someone, somebody. Just someone to be like, why? why? Just why? why? Just why? Like, Is your surprise mechanics? Can I help? Not working out or something? Can I help? <laughs> what do I need to do to get you into a skate for today? Like a used Just car some, salesman? Something. <laughs> I mean, like, you, like if you could make, like, a, a skate mobile, put it on Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Just something. Good I for need, EA I need for not caring about what we want, I guess. I, I guess. don't know. Whatever. I mean, they're too Sticking. busy on the other stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. So much Star Wars, Anthem. right? Canceling two projects and to, a- screwing over Anthem. I mean. That's if I could draw it. 
After months of delay, Anthem's Cataclysm event is finally live, again over on Kotaku by an Ethan Gatch. Without any fanfare today, Bioware dropped Anthem's biggest update since the game was released in February. Update 1.3 adds a bunch of new loot, a guild system, and the game's long-awaited Cataclysm event, which was originally due out in May. Took long enough. <laughs> After a rough launch, Bioware announced a series of updates that would be coming to Anthem in March, April, and May as part of the game's ongoing live service. That never came to pass as a bunch of features, including a guild system and a limited time event called Cataclysm, were delayed in June. Bioware invited players on PCs to demo Cataclysm on test servers, but console players spent most of that early part of the summer with nothing new to do. Now the wait is finally over. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the event itself revolves around a series of new story missions and a new time trial based activity complete with a new seasonal currency player <laughs> Alex just says Mike <laughs> <laughs> currency players will need to earn in order to collect new gear the activity doesn't need a level requirement so new and old players will be able to try it out with the difficulty adjusted accordingly there's also a new guild system bolstered by a mobile app which will <coughs> Sorry about that. Too, <laughs> Which too will much, let players too much, too much uh, too spit much, air. I don't know. Too much BS. You were talking about. B- oh think. yeah, too, too much BS coming out of my mouth. Yeah. That horrible guild system. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Mobile app. We're just gonna end it here. There's more mobile apps. There's a cosmic store. There's more stuff to anthem. There's, there's, there's a lot is more. Is anybody gonna go back? I don't know. I'm very curious. If you are, tweet at me. I honestly want to know. Is like, this game just dead now? Failed to me at least. I like. I played. You know how hard it was for me to just finish that game. We and struggled. Then the ending was, and the ending, what? I just could not believe. Did it, I was like, did it end right here? I was like, this Where's is the, what's the this next is mission? how they're ending it? Apparently, they ended it. Uh, I literally, <laughs> <laughs> it's not good when you're the guy playing the game, like you and me, yeah. go, was that the end? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like when you have to ask, you messed up. So I mean, point. I feel like when we were playing the game, I was like, all right, what's the next mission? That was it. That was it. What? What? That was the end? Dash Such board. an abrupt dash, dash ending, board. too. Right? Yeah, dashboard immediately. Start immediately trash talking the game. <laughs> I, I don't God. know, man. Like, like I, I give it props for what it's trying to do. It's, it's, it's. They should have just the very used, base of Anthem. I think is it should have just. It should have just been. There's just effect. so many technical issues. There's just so much. And again, why make such a Mass Effect game and not make it Mass Effect? Right? I just don't understand. I mean, this could have easily just been. Andromeda. I mean, they could have just waited. They could have just waited another year, maybe two, for Andromeda, and use what they used it for Anthem for Andromeda. I mean, but what do we know? We're I, just a bunch of idiots that live in Georgia. I guess. That eat ramen. Honestly, I haven't had ramen in a couple of days. Really? Yeah. Me either. Yeah. I had, um, what did I have the other day? Chicken pot pie? Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. I haven't had chicken pot pie in forever. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah, I made Carly, um, like a hamburger salad or whatever earlier. Mm-hmm. Like, she used the hamburger meat, actually made salad, but mm-hmm. pretty good. I had uh, a steak with, um, kind of like a salad. Yeah. Croutons with tomatoes and zucchini. Mm-hmm. With uh, Zucchini, cheese, yeah, cheese and um, uh, bread, wine vinegar. There we go, Ooh, red wine vinegar, okay. delicious. Yeah. Highly recommend. We use Blue Apron. Oh yeah, shout out to Blue Apron. Yeah, no, I still your sponsor, so I can add you. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, moving on? What mixer has that Twitch doesn't? Besides Ninja, this is over on Kotaku by <laughs> Mike Fahi. Microsoft recently put their streaming service Mixer back in the spotlight by securing exclusive rights to Tyler Ninja Plevins, who had been one of the top streamers on Twitch. Exclusive streamers aside, there are several compelling reasons to stream and watch streams on Microsoft's platform instead of Amazon-owned Twitch. This is kind of more of a required reading hybrid with what I wanted to talk about in the news. This very much encapsulates, like, I wanted to talk about the Mixer, where Mixer... uh, Poaches Ninja from Twitch. Yeah. I wanted to talk about um, that, and also I want to get into how good Mixer is and how no one talks about it. Um, really quick, Go I ahead. wanted to add to this. Um, Doctor Disrespect <laughs> said that I guess they would do. He would switch over to Mixer uh-huh. if they would have gave if they if if, if they let they, him if or if they give if him they let the him same, videotape people in the bathroom. God no. <laughs> <laughs> if they would give him the same deal they gave Ninja or better, and I was like, okay. That's really random. Yeah, like I it, and kind it, of when I was reading I, this, it, it popped up. So I can't remember where, but it was like, yeah, Doctor Disrespect uh, would go to Mixer if he got Ninja's deal or better. Mm, yeah, I, I don't think like, they want to give you that deal, buddy. No, no offense. God no. Because uh, 
Don't think of the uh, moving on. Whatever. Yeah, moving, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Mixture started life as Beam, an independent streaming service launched in January 2016. Microsoft purchased Beam in August of 2016. Very quickly, as soon as they started, we want you. Announced integration with Windows 10 that October. Mm-hmm. By spring of 2017, the Beam service was integrated into both Windows operating system and Xbox One. In May of 2017, the service was renamed Mixer due to the name Beam not being available for international use. Interesting. There's really cool things about Mixer. The commu- there's uh, lots of community interactions. Um, they have one in this little thing. One of Mixer's defining features is a focus on community interaction. The service boosts extremely low latency between streamers and viewers, allowing for timely interactive features instead of a 10 to 20 second delay between broadcast and viewing. Uh, to be fair, though, Twitch has kind of fixed that. There is a very low latency thing now. Um, I do not know how low it is. I'm pretty sure it was five seconds now, but it, I, I don't know, honestly. Uh, mm. uh, going back, um, their low latency protocol uh, l- uh, lowers the delay to under a second, which is insane, making interaction between watchers and players more immediate. These interactions generally manifest in the form of viewer-activated buttons. There can be view- voting buttons alongside the side of the stream, interactive commands overlap in your stream, and easy access donation buttons. So many buttons. <laughs> yeah, I like I I I sometimes go on Mixer. Mm-hmm. Don't know what I'm doing. I just I don't leave either. it on a stream, and I don't want to press a button because I don't want to like, get charged for anything. <laughs> I don't know how that works. You're like, I don't want to hit anything because I know they have my my card. <laughs> yeah, like I hate one. I hit something one time, and you I was hit, like, Oh, you hit a button, and the streamer's like, Oh my god, someone just donated a thousand dollars. Yeah, well, I was like, <laughs> and you're like, No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started like doing like I tried broadcasting once, and I was like, Okay, this is cool. But yeah. then it, there was like those sticker things. It did, and it was like you gotta level up to like unlock some, but mm-hmm. or you can buy something. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, no, I don't want to buy this stuff. <laughs> and I was like, hey, you know what? It broadcast. <laughs> so I just like I don't go on there just because I. I was think just, if we, uh, well, not if when we move to videotaping this, I would love to go to Mixer. And oh yeah, 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 no, I want once only then. because uh, I feel like the uh, discoverability on on Mixer yeah. is much much higher. Yeah, uh, I want I went into the app actually earlier today just to look at it. Mm-hmm. There's literally a page that says up and coming. People oh, with cool. 6, 12, 20 views. That's cool. Front page. Yeah. Very, very cool. Very impressive. Yeah. Um, people have been wanting that for Twitch for a long time, a way to search uh, like lower than 100 viewers, like yeah. stuff like that. And th- there is just no way of doing that. There, uh, The one thing, there, there is a lot of people on, like streaming on Mixer. Like uh, my little brother was playing Grand Theft Auto and he was broadcasting for some reason. Mm-hmm. Um, I was trying to find him and I just kept scrolling. And just took forever. It was like maybe over 50 streamers so and and i was and i knew he only had like two viewers watching him there was like 50 viewers of just two and i was like bro can you level it down a little bit so i agree there is probably a lot of people i don't think nearly as much as twitch oh god no, that's no, why no. i yeah, feel no. mixer it is better cool, to be though. on um i actually watch ninja not a lot but mm-hmm. I watch him every now and then. Yeah. There was a specific time I remember him. Uh, someone asked, like, oh, like, how do I make it as a streamer? Because I'm sure he gets asked a million times. Yeah. Someone asked him that, and he went, uh, honestly, like, if you're starting out now, I would uh, I would uh, say go to Mixer. Yeah. Which is cool. Which is crazy because yeah. now he's on Mixer. Yeah, now he's on Mixer. Yeah. yeah. Um, we don't know the full details of any money exchange you can imagine it's a lot uh uh just in case you want it you can go over to actually ninja's page and you they're giving away two months of free subscriptions <laughs> so you can go over there now get one month free and then if you come back the next month you'll get the next month free as well okay really cool i tried out mixer when he moved uh i already had it downloaded i just i'm in the xbox well me and you are in yeah. the xbox ecosystem so so much yeah i just use both things and uh, I went to the thing, went over. It all looks good. It all look, literally his setup looks exactly the same. And it's just he's on mixer now. Yeah. Um. Cool. I really like it. Uh, uh. This article goes into a lot. It goes into like, oh, what happens when your level like hits this and that and this and and then it goes in like, oh, you know, th- these things are good, but they need to do these things, stuff like that. Yeah. Really cool. Um. And I think you level up by views too, which is another cool thing. Mm-hmm. Rocket League is ditching loot boxes this is by the verge megan for co manish give me a second for a manish <laughs> give me a second manish for a manish for a manish fork 
Rocket League will remove its pain randomized loot crates <laughs> in favor of a system that would tell players <laughs> what they're purchasing before they buy. By the way, I'm so sorry, Megan. <laughs> I'm just I'm I stupid wasn't even gonna try. I started saying it. And I was like, never mind. Yeah, it has to be German, right? Miss Megan. Yes, Miss Megan. Or Mrs. I don't know. Miss, yeah. Uh, developer Sionic announced the news today and described it as a similar change to that made in Epic's Fortnite. We are, uh, quote, we are dedicated to creating the best possible experience for our players all over the world, the developer said. Uh, information on when the change will take place is still to come. Players will still be able to buy Rocket Pass Premium, DLC cars, and eSports shop items directly from the new system kicks into effect. Very cool. Epic acquired Psyonix in May, if you did not know. Uh, the Psyonix is, of course, who owns Rocket League and makes it. It dropped blind draw loot boxes for Fortnite in January of this year. The company has since been sued by the uh, by the parent of an underage Californian player who claims the practice was predatory. Despite the ongoing popularity of the loot boxes within games, the practice was received pushback from players and officials alike. Lawmakers will. Oh, lawmakers like Senator Josh Hawley are working to pass legislation that would ban loot box sales for kids under the age of 18. I don't know, see what that does because a child has their parents' credit card regardless. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Just take the card away. It's more loot, more loot box fiascos. I mean, right? I mean, whatever. I, 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 I mean, I personally don't like loot boxes, not because it's gambling or whatever, only because I don't like paying for something I'm not actually getting. Yeah, I want to pay for the thing I want, not yeah. for like the chance of getting the thing. Yeah, I it's want. like it's like I'll with give the, you ten bucks for the thing. Just let me do that. It's like with the um, with uh, Overwatch. I love getting those loot boxes. I mean, you don't have to you don't have to pay for them, but you can. Yeah, but you can. I hate that if I do pay for it, I don't still don't know what I'm getting. You don't know. Like, now you'll get the currency, but I feel like it's not common nearly no, enough, yeah, and you yeah. don't get nearly enough from the currency. I'm like, to I'm paying for this. Why can't I just get what I want? Very weird. I mean, even if you upcharge it just a little bit, now. make sure I get what I want. Loot boxes are weird. Yeah. Right. I mean, we can all agree they're weird. They shouldn't be in the game, at least for my opinion. I don't care about microtransactions. Loot yeah. boxes specifically are just kind of silly. Yeah. Right. I play Hearthstone. Yeah. I don't like I have to buy car packs, but at least they give me a pretty easy way of of disenchanting what I don't want and getting what I do want. Mm-hmm. Like I can just disenchant a card and get something else. Yeah. And that's good enough. Mm-hmm. I I never I never played. Uh, Rocket League. I played it maybe once. I played at, it a few at a times. GameStop, like when it was on it was demo. Fun. That that was it. It's fun. It's very like it looks cool. Simple. Other than I mean, in they have added so many cars. I always like seeing the quick, uh, trick shots on like Instagram or Twitter where like mm-hmm. someone jumps in the air and then flips and then hits the, yeah, the goal, I, like, like, hits it from like the other side. It's yeah, right. and they say Fast and Furious is crazy. All right. <laughs> on that note, WWE 2K20 <laughs> is being developed by Visual Concepts, not Ukes. This is over on Dual Shockers, um, by a there is no name. There it is, Logan Moore. Um, long type WWE developers Ukes has finally been replaced by this year's entry. Uh, with this year's entry of WWE 2K20. Yuse has been the primary developer behind nearly every major WWE game for the past 20 years, but this uh, but this time, this year's installment of WWE 2K20, that run has finally come to an end. In a new report from VGC, it was confirmed that Yuke is not on the developer behind WWE 2K20, and said Visual Concepts is now the primary developer on the project. Quote, WWE 2K20 will be developed by Visual Con- uh, Concepts, who have worked with Yux on the development of the series since WWE 2K14, end quote. Uh, they said in a statement, um, as we've continued to invest in the 2K franchise, we've seen the Visual Concepts team display incredible passion, talent, and commitment to the future of the series. We thank Yux for the years of partnership and excited to see what the Visual Concepts team brings to the franchise moving forward. How long do you think these are going to keep going? Until Just, people stop buying them, I assume. Yeah. Right? Because the only reason, like, we have WWE, Madden, NFL, NHL, yep. NBA Live, if you want to count that, which doesn't really come every year. They EA kind of just decides when well, it does. They ha- they bring out 2K FIFA. and Live, and then, like, 2K always wipes <laughs> Live. I mean, some people say Live is better, but I don't understand. I EA don't, just I don't tries sports, to man. mess with Activision. That's the only reason they keep making these games. It's yeah. just to take market share from. But that's six annualized sports titles. Yeah. Not including UFC. Yeah. And not including... Oh no, no, well, they I stopped, well, they stopped with UFC because three came out, what, a couple years ago? Oh, yeah, that's true. They st- Yeah, they didn't... UFC three. Has that been out for a few years? Uh, Was it not last year? Oh, shit. Excuse, excuse me. 
Uh, UFC three came out in twenty eighteen, so last year. Okay. Okay. No. Yeah. So, so there was none this so, year. So far, annualized. Because it came out February second, twenty eighteen. Yeah. So it's it's annualized. Um, yeah, I guess so. that's also alongside these. So that's crazy. Um, I'm curious. I would love for all the sports games to just stop and be like, we're gonna take a year off and we're just gonna take a little extra time to make the next one better. Because literally, it's kind of it's become a meme. It's that a, it's like it's this a, looks like the same thing. Yeah. I saw a hilarious tweet. I wish I had it. It was um uh, uh EA trying to make NBA 2K20 look better by just making them sweaty. Apparently they do this every year where to make the graphics look like they look better, they yeah. just make everybody sweaty. Yeah. So like they'll make the, like in mid game they'll just put sweat on them and just act like it, it looks better because I guess it, something with their eyes it is yeah. enjoys their feature better. Crazy. That's weird. Again, I wish. They would just take a year off. Yeah, I mean, it's like with, like, we used to play the hell out of these uh, oh, wrestling God, games. yes. But I stopped Smackdown really. Smackdown versus Raw 2009, that, 2010. 2011 was the last one that, that it was Smackdown versus Raw. Yeah. And honestly, that's where I fell off. Because I played I play, 2K, I started, I played 2K13. I think that's the one with CM Punk in the cover. I played that um, one. That was my last one. Yeah, the CM Punk was 2K13, I believe. And that's the last one I, I even like, yeah, re- I like, think that like was my really played. Because I tried the Stone Cold one, which was 16. I, I played liked- one of them because they had the Attitude Era on it. And I played all the story in that. Yeah. I don't know what year that is. That could be 17 or 18. Yeah. I think it was on sale for like five bucks or something like that. And mm-hmm. I got it just to play the Attitude Yeah, I just era. don't mess with these anymore. Just, it's Neither. not the same. Yeah. I mean, that I'm not really into the wrestling anymore. But me just, and Rebecca Davil in the wrestling, yeah. we kind of just watch the. I wanted to like, go back, but we, it's just so much to where I'm just I I, I don't understand who these we people usually are pick up right before WrestleMania. Like we'll watch Royal Rumble, yeah. Then we'll watch the next one, and then WrestleMania, and then okay. we'll just kind of stop watching, yeah, it's just because that's all the exciting stuff. Yeah, we don't. We're, I'm not devout enough to watch every week. I get. I work with a guy called Brian. He gives me all the stuff that yeah. I need to know. I ask him all the questions. I see uh, things on Instagram. They're really mm-hmm. good at like telling you storylines through Instagram and Twitter, which okay. is very interesting. Actually, yeah, they kind of cool. give you storylines like through social media to kind of follow along if you're not watching. Yeah, which is kind of cool. And see, I told myself a long time ago after Shawn Michaels left, he was like, "I'm not watching this unless he comes back." That's kind of and, when I stopped watching. And he, uh, yeah, after he gave, after he, um, you know, he did that he fight with Undertaker. Yeah, I was like, "Oh, I'm not watching this anymore." Shawn Michaels was my my favorite. Yeah, he came back. Still haven't watched it. Still haven't watched it. I, I, haven't saw, watched it I, I didn't even know he came back. DX I was like, came oh. back. They they were making like DX celebrations. And yeah, stuff. I, I, I've been like, meaning to watch. I just that. time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have so much stuff to do. I yep. I don't have time All to these watch games DX. I don't play. Make it telling me to suck it. <laughs> you got two <laughs> words for you. You suck it. In gadget. <laughs> Apex Legends gets the limited time solo mode next week. This is by Chris Holt again over on End Gadget. Since Apex Legends bursted onto the battle royale scene in February, there's been an ever-present request near the top of the player's wish list: a single-player mode. Until now, matches have been taking place entirely in teams of three, but for a limited time, you'll be able to drop into King's Canyon and rely purely on your own skill and abilities in search of a victory with no teammates to back you up. A temporary solos mode will arrive alongside the Iron Crown Collection event, which runs August 13th to the 27th and will surely add some other content like loot or challenges. This could be a trial run for a permanent solos mode or even a precursor to other formats such as duos, another widely uh, requested option. Fortnite, notably, has long awaited players to jump from the battle bus by themselves or with up to three teammates. Um, On that cover where it says Iron Crown Collection event, mm-hmm. is that caustic? It is. Okay. I've never seen that. Cu- I never seen that outfit, it's, and I'm I was pretty like, sure it's a new I was skin like, for the event. Is that a new legend? Or no, yeah, it's just a new skin for the okay, event. Probably look, that, that looks cool. It does look cool. Yeah, I, I like the skin I have. I on thought there the was solo before. No. There was always been the trio. There was the. You may be thinking of the elite that they added, which was basically ranked before ranked. Mm-hmm. What you oh, had to do was, was hit top five, yeah, and see how many times you would hit top five, yeah. But that wasn't by yourself; that was still with people. Weird. Oh, I thought I swear when it first came out, I thought that was like you can play by yourself. Oh no, you had to play with the three teams. That's why the ping system is so good. Oh, okay. that's because they they made the game around you playing with two other people. Gotcha, gotcha. And literally solos mode. If you play Apex, you understand what I mean by yeah. this. Solos mode will be Wraith. Pathfinder, Gibraltar. Those three people are just going to be fighting. That's it. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be the solo. No one else is. You're not going to be caustic in this. Like you, yeah. you're not going to unless yeah, you're trying to like Pathfinders with that with that zip line, man. Yep. And Wraith, your you can just move. Wraith, you just and and, yep. and you can't shoot you anymore. Yep. 
excited i'll try it out i will literally try to get the challenges and then i'm gonna go back because i'm going ranked right now and mm-hmm. me and my buddy are trying to hit um d- uh diamond and oh, we're, yeah. we're at platinum right now we're platinum oh, wow. three okay which I'm is still bronze i didn't <laughs> catch up to you guys yeah which is like a few things before apex predator but we're at diamond three and we're trying to hit uh sorry platinum three we're trying to hit diamond uh, yeah. i'm very excited to hit, hit is diamond, diamond the highest one uh apex is oh apex predator yeah okay. so once you hit platinum you're going to diamond uh-huh. diamond to apex Damn. and there's four uh things inside of every stone like level like tier okay so there's bronze silver gold platinum diamond, diamond apex predator hmm. it's very cool it's it, we hit it's to like, the point it's though it's like prestige Oh, basically. Yeah. We've hit to the point, though, that, like, you kind of have to camp to win because yeah. no one wants to kill each other because oh, you want to yeah. hit top I was playing, five. We were playing that match that one day, and I forgot. I think we were at um, the place by slums on the on the other side. Runoff? Yes. Yeah. Um, and we were in the, the – there was only, like, two squads left other than us. Yeah. And I was, like, I was, like, I went to grab heavy ammo, and I didn't even realize you guys were fighting someone, and I went to go to you. You are a champion. Oh, oh, okay. I was just, I guess I was camping. I didn't realize. Usually you either camp or you third, fourth party. Yeah. That's what it's like. Really, when you get that high, it it, it sucks, but that's kind of just how yeah. the way you play it. We're not high level players, so we're not running out hitting 20 kill games. Oh, God, no. <laughs> so we're, we're, kind of, we're sitting back waiting that's for That's why I'm scared for, for the back. solos. Oh, it says it's good. It's August 13th to the 27th. Yeah. I'll be playing on the 26th. <laughs> to like slowly rush and try to get everything. I just want no, just things. so I don't have to get killed by these like uh these uh crazy people that like. Oh, you're like, waiting for people to get sick of it. Is yeah, you? that yeah, just so I don't you know, because when uh Fortnite came out, we had all those people like really like like just killing you for no reason. I was like, we're playing team member. I'm over here trying to do some challenges. People come from from behind me, just killing me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, leave me alone. They're trying it's really hard to get a kill in team rumble, dude. Relax. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Relax. <laughs> Oh, that is unnecessary. You don't need that there. We're going into games with gold for August 2019. Is going to be Gears 4, Forza 6, Torchlight, and Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I'll play that one. Castlevania? Yeah, I just want to, I want to try it out. It's, I tried the demo the, like a long really time ago when I was on there, and I, I like kind of thought it, it was cool. It's a really good game. It's, of very, course, it's a, um, one of those you, uh, hack and slash games. Of course, it's really easy if you have gold. All you have to do is go to games with gold in the time frame of whatever game you want, click get, and you have it, and then you can play it. As long as your gold subscription keeps up, you keep the game. Yeah, because it's the first to pretty it, – it's like – you get it's a good the, month. Yeah, because you get the first Xbox One and the first 360 game between mm-hmm. – uh, the first and the fifteenth, pretty yeah, much, and then basically. the other two in the next half. Yep, that's one hundred percent how it works. Yeah. Moving on to PlayStation's PlayStation Plus games. These are. I got you. Thank you. Um, you got. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Yeah, you got Wipeout Omega Collection and Sniper Elite Four will be available for free beginning August six. This is the same thing. As long as you have a uh, lasting PlayStation Plus membership, you will get these games. Yep. And, but uh, it's not. Doesn't they start, start on August sixth. So yes. today of recording. Yes. By the time you hear this, you will be able to get it. Yep. So like, if you haven't tried out Sniper Elite or Wipeout, if you're like really, I've heard a lot of people that really like Wipeout. Uh, you can give that a shot because it says Omega Collection. I don't know what that means. Uh, I think it's I one and two. Okay. I think, or something like that. Yeah. I don't remember. And I heard, f- uh, I mean, Sniper Elite. It's just more snipe. It's just four is just more Sniper Elite. If you ever played cool. a Sniper Elite, you play as a sniper. Yeah. And much. you, you're, you're. It's really cool because there's like you're a, not even the guy. You're the gun. <laughs> You're just a walking sniper. No, yep. uh, what it is is it's kind of cool. You play as a guy who needs to do a mission, and then you'll shoot somebody, and then you get to see where the bullet goes through the head. Yeah, it's it goes, super gruesome. It's, it's pretty much... It's like Mortal Kombat, but yeah, for bullets. Yeah, you, you shoot the bullet, and it's pretty much a fatality. You yeah. can see inside. It's pretty you cool. You can shoot their balls. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You but, can shoot their heart. You can see their heart explode. Yeah, with this one, it's not available on the first. It's the six, but you can get them all all throughout. You can get both games throughout the whole month. Yes, so if you, if, unlike Even Xbox. if it's halfway through the month, you can still get it. Yep. Yep, it's the same two games for the whole month. Yep. That's going to be the news today. Alex, I want to get into a topic. Okay. I want you to tell me what you think as soon as I say this. How much money Mm. does a mobile game deserve slash how much money does a free-to-play game deserve? What I mean by this is there's very much a common thing uh, when people say, I don't think X... Uh, should have this much money or I need to make sure I don't spend this amount of money on this game. Okay. 
uh, for instance, I overheard someone say, oh, yeah, I can't buy things on Fortnite anymore. I've spent at least 100 bucks on there. Okay. For instance, Apex Legends, same thing. Hearthstone, same thing. Okay. What is it? What is that? What is that spot? What do you? Th- why do you think people are so readily to, for Call of Duty, for instance, how many times has someone bought a Call of Duty game? Yeah. They're fine paying Call of Duty every year for kind of the same game, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, with different mechanics, but same base game. But are kind of turned off on the idea of, I've spent $200 on Fortnite, $300 on Apex, you know. Why do you think that, and what do you think of that statement? Do you disagree or agree with me? Um, I guess it all depends on what what game. I guess what you're getting out of it. Okay. Because like with Fortnite, let's um, take for Fortnite for instance. Yeah. I'll be honest. I've probably spent with me and my girlfriend well over three hundred dollars on Fortnite. That has been over five seasons. So that's what at least. I mean, because yeah, year? you're both getting the season. You're both getting the battle pass. We're both getting the battle pass, you're probably and then both getting we buy skins, skins and stuff like that. Yeah. So I've so, probably spent three hundred bucks each. I mean, I would say, uh, is that too much? In your opinion, uh, it depends on the person. Because I mean, okay. if you're having if you're having fun with it, and you feel like that you're like. And by the I, way, this I, is I, obviously I mean, without like money issues yeah this if is, you have money issues you should not be buying these no, things yeah. things like that we're yeah, not no, gonna bring up is, those things this is to where like not. if yes if it's like yeah. if you had the money to if, do it if you have some sort of disposable income obviously we're not rich but you know we want to put it in in a capsuling thing that yeah we are definitely not like we're not like living paycheck to paycheck and then spending money on Fortnite. like yeah not, nothing silly like that we're not it target. just all depends on how um fun you're having with the game right. and like you know if it's satisfying you to the to we're like okay does I, Fortnite I feel like deserve that much money i believe it does okay because uh I, even though i mean um it is a free-to-play game right and I, you mean you are spending so much money on right, all these right, skins right. and it's just cosmetics mm-hmm. you're still going back and playing the game i mean it, the game is fun mm-hmm. they're doing something right mm-hmm. so in my opinion yeah i mean i feel like i they do deserve it i mean it's not they're not just trying to you know, it, it's funny digging <laughs> people's pockets. You're like, give me all that money. I yeah. mean, they're doing something right. It's funny that. with it's Fortnite. Fun. I'm much more readily like, oh, I'll buy a skin now. Not so much because yeah. like I have so many skins. I'm just like, I don't really need yeah. anymore. I mean, like I have I Star really, Lord. Yeah. Do I really want anyone else? That's now? how I. That's how I feel. Like I mean, the last skin I bought was my Shark Week one last year. Or not? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. The Demogorgon, the, Stranger Things, yeah, yeah. was this year. I got Shark Week one last year. That that was it. Just because so, I don't really use a bunch of skins. Yeah, my last skin was the Mech. Yeah, I bought the Mech one, but that was for free because I got so many V Bucks yeah. from. And see, I almost like, the, the yeah. battle pass. And see, I almost bought that one, but then I was like. I just bought the Demogorgon one. I love the Demogorgon one. Am I really going to use this mech one? So, so I was like, no. Nah, I bought I the mech one. Kind of regret buying it. Again, though, I didn't pay any money. But yeah. like, you know, you it's could, one of those instances yeah. where like, oh, I didn't need that because I'm just going to be Star-Lord now. Yeah. So I've, I think I've hit that point in Fortnite where unless something amazing comes out, yeah. I just so I have my Star-Lord. I have my yeah. Falcon skin football player. And I have like the cool battle pass skins. Like, I'm yeah. really so good. I, like, I guess it all depends on how you feel. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, of course, if it's a new game and stuff like that, you're just going to dump your money into it because you want all the cool stuff. Of course. Right. But eventually, it's just going to get um, a little over overbearing, I guess. Not overbearing. Um, just it's overwhelming to where, like, you're like, should I really buy this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it, it seems like it, it bells down to, like, of course, it's f- whoever is spending that money, right? There are whales. We know this in mobile games of, uh, as well. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing I want to get into, why do you think mobile games – don't deserve any money, right? I've heard you and myself, this isn't just me attacking you, of course. Mm. I, I've heard you say and myself say, oh, I'll download that game from whatever commercial, maybe someone yeah. that we follow on social media say they like this game. Yep. As soon as I go to the app store and see that that game costs money, I am much more or less likely to buy that game. Yeah. Why do you think so? Because <sighs> I think I know the reason, but why do you think so? I mean, I'm cheap, so. <laughs> but no, um... <laughs> I don't know. I think it's. Uh, I don't know. Do you don't know? know? But do you think it's just some sort of involuntary thing you do? I think so. So I did too, and then I and then I like I love to do the thing where I look at myself as a human mm. and try to decipher why I think certain things and like see if I can figure it out. So I'm pretty sure I figured it out, and I'm pretty sure I figured it out for most people. I th- it's because the app store is so flooded with free games. Yeah, your assumption is a game should be free. Yeah. 
Yeah, I could see that. And with that, and I mean, let's say, okay, this mobile game comes up or whatever, and you Pokemon see Pokemon Go, for instance. Okay. Uh, well, that if one's Pokemon free. Go was five bucks. Okay. Would you have bought it? I would have. I would have waited because I like. I was just about to say, uh, if it does, <clears throat> let's say, if it does cost money. Have you spent any money in Pokemon Go? I did when it first came out. Okay. I think it, I have two. I think I spent I think ten dollars. Yeah, I think that was the most, maybe. Which I've is done. insane because I, I played that game. Like I definitely hit a point where if I play a game long enough, I'm like, I need to give them some money because it, it feels kind of gross to get something for free like too yeah. long. Of course, if you don't have the money, I'm not saying. I'm saying like if I have like some sort of ink, like I can afford giving this game ten dollars, yeah. so I will give this game ten stuff like that. Not like. Yeah, and I think oh, I played it for 500 hours. I should be giving this game $500. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, whatever I feel gracious, I should be. Yeah, able no, to, no. I, to give like, if the game money. deserves it, in my opinion, yeah, I, you should give them mm-hmm. the money. Mm-hmm. But um, it all depends, like, ah, God, what game was it? There was one, a game on the App Store I saw, but it cost money. And I'm just like, but should I wait? And I might be able to buy this other game instead like it all de- i guess it just depends on would you rather have w- would you rather have like this raising the poison and cons like do i want yeah. this or this or this yeah of course like with just basic money management yeah. right you would do yeah that. just yeah i'm just curious on like it, like i hear so many people in, the, in you know like just walking around town you'll hear people talk like yeah this game this game but uh, you know because yeah, no, i don't want to know yeah like it's you, just you know for it's because, i'll spend 60 bucks on a video game yeah. but $10 it's just because, on an app game, I'm just well, with way less app, likely well, to buy. The thing with app games or mobile games is there's a lot of micro microtransactions. And I would also say there's a lot of trash. Yeah. Like, so, there's like, a lot of trash on the app yeah. store, so you have to be very so, careful on what you buy. Yeah, so um, I actually played, uh, it was a, the free game, the Game of Thrones. Con- the, Rain? The, no, not that one. Okay. There was another one where you actually like, can make your own oh, thing. That was and, awful. It, see, I was playing for it for like the first week or two, <laughs> and, but then it Conquest, makes it, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Conquest, I think that, yeah. And then it's like, oh, if you know, you can, you ran out of things, you can buy more. And I'm like, yep. nope, not doing that God. because I don't want to wait. I don't want to so, wait, but I don't want to spend the money. Okay, so okay, so you hit the point on the head, I think, like you don't want to spend the money on this game, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because did you think it didn't deserve it, or you just did not want to spend the money? No, it, I don't think it, it. It's not that. I'll be honest. It, I don't think that game deserved my money. I was <laughs> playing that game, and I was like, "This is terrible." No, yeah, there, now, there really is a lot going on. It's because I think I'm coming in such a in such a late game. Yeah. That game has probably been out for forever. Yeah. I'm starting at zero, and they're trying to get me through very complex things yep. quickly. It's like, oh, deals for $5. You can I get said, a bunch of this stuff. I said, no, thank you. It wasn't. I didn't even get to the part where they want to ask my money. They were just giving me basic tutorial things, oh, but really? it lasted 30, 40 minutes. No, yeah, that's it's overwhelming on some of those games. I just, but like you said, it is there is so much in those app stores to where it's just junk. Yeah, you gotta be you yeah. gotta be careful of what you're buying mm-hmm. or getting because like even some of those free games, like the microtransactions, will get you. I've heard of a uh, close, I guess friend. I don't know. I, whatever. I've heard of someone say, um. Some games are being made as more as stores rather than games, which was a yeah. very interesting statement. And this person was actually involved in making video games. He was on a very big game. Mm. He couldn't tell you what game he was talking about, so you can pretty much figure out he was talking about uh, what game that it was. That specific game? Yeah. Okay. And uh, insane, right? Like where we had the kind of Star Wars Battlefront 2 thing happen with the loot boxes and mm-hmm. that kind of just kind of kill loot boxes right i mean for the most part no one really does it anymore yeah is there a big other than overwatch is there like a big loot box thing does call of duty do loot boxes still e- there's the black market i know that yeah, is that loot box thing. is that loot boxes? i think that's considered a loot box yes okay does uh division do it they have cash boxes yeah, but like it's ca- like i but you're talking about like loot box like loot box like like overwatch loot box like that yeah, I guess. So where, like, you know, you get a specific level. Uh, once you get to a specific level or something, you right. get, like, a, a mystery box. Opens up, right. gives you random stuff. Right. I mean, of Division course. Division did have loot boxes. I mean, of course, I, I I mean, of course yeah. Apex has it. Yeah. They have the tickers, which is annoying. Yeah. You get three things, which is a little yep. silly, I think. Yeah. They should, they should definitely work on their um, pricing. Yeah. Their skins are 15 bucks, I think. God. Yeah. Which, to be fair, they're good skins. But it's I just dope. can't. I can't wrap my head around paying fifteen dollars for that. No, for just one skin in in Fortnite. I can because like I don't know. It's it's funny because I'll 
I've spent $15 on a skin in Fortnite. Yeah. But I think that's just because it's just so much more visually appealing. Something about guess. Fortnite, I think, gets people... Maybe there's something that communicates well, with our brains that tells well, us that this looks uh, so good. Fortnite has a lot of uh, pop cultural references mm-hmm. and a lot of connection. Mm-hmm. So, like with Star Lord, right? Yeah, with, with the yeah, Marvel yeah, stuff. Right? Yeah, well, like I with, bought both of those. Yeah, I bought Black Widow yeah. and the, so, and both dances. Um, I think that was. Like I mean, $20, when they had thirty dollars, when they had the Demogorgon, or last year when that I bought cool. the Shark Week, they had a guy dressed as a shark. Yeah. I mean, I love Shark Week, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, that's awesome! I have to," because it, it connected with me. So I was like, "But like with like Apex." I mean, yeah, the skins look awesome, but it doesn't really connect to me. Mm. So I'm like, I mean, yeah. Right. It nothing really speaks to me like, oh, yeah, that suits me. No, it's, they just look cool. Okay. I agree. So it, I guess it all depends on which game this deserves. I mean, especially with mobile. I, I just, a lot of them don't. <laughs> right. I mean, a lot of them, I think they just, people just try to play the game. They're like, here, just take it. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But all the, and then, then some do. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. If you have any comments, please. Reach us out, Twitter, Instagram, anything. Scream at us. Tell us what you think. What game have you spent a lot of money on that you're like, wow, I don't, I can't believe I spent that much money on that. There was a cool Twitter thing that was like, uh, uh, I feel like Wow is up there with a lot of people. You think World of Warcraft? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure too. The, um, um, there was a there was a popular tweet that was, um, I wish I could get all the money I spent on blank, and you and the, he tweeted out like, what is your blank? Yeah. So what would you put there? So like, if someone was like rent. Like I would love yeah. uh, the amount of money I've spent in rent back. Yeah. Uh, for me, what would that be for you? How much money I've spent on blank? Ooh, Jesus. Video games, of course, is so broad. So I feel like that's kind of cheating. Like, is there no, a specific yeah. item specific? that you're like, God, I've spent so much money on that. I wish I could have like those on back. a game, like on a game specifically, or like, Le- or like, like of I, course, anything. I would say video games because I've spent so much money. Video, but that's so broad. I that's, feel like that's yeah. like saying movies. Like, like what? What would be your one thing that would like? I wish I had all that money back because I've spent. Oh God, you know what I mean. Statue. I would probably statues. Statues? Yeah. Yeah, I would. I would agree. I have a good bit. I have a good bit of statues. I probably have statues too, or pops, right? I've, yeah. I spend a lot of money on pops. Yeah, no, yeah. I would say pops, and I do. I would probably say pops. Yeah. And see, I've sold. I've so I've resold some of mine, so I've Me gotten too. some of that money back. Me too. But like, of course. yeah, with statues. I mean, half. I mean, granted, some of my statues I did get for free, but like yeah. some of the ones that I have did cost. I mean, sixty bucks, mm-hmm. eighty mm-hmm. bucks, babe. I don't know. I, I mean, it was trade credit. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> it was trade credit. I didn't really buy it. I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm no, looking at you. Got some good statues. One day we got to do like a, for our YouTube, like, oh, yeah. this is our seven. Oh, yeah, these are, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's statues. Yeah, statues. Yeah, because, I mean, video games is just too broad. It's just, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's our cheap. hobby. I mean, that, that doesn't What count. is your <laughs> insert blank thing I wish I got all that money back for? Reach us out on Bills. the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> Non-taxed. Bills, taxes. <laughs> what is that for you? Reach us out. Twitter, comments, anything. Tell us what you think. Hit us up on our socials at EVM1000 for Twitter, at uh, Crazy Flip Scatter for Mr. Alex over there. Um, for Instagram, I'm also at EVM1000. You can hit us up at, at Easy Achievers for our full channel descriptions too. You can ask us questions there. I'm usually monitoring that. Um, reach us out. What have you been playing? What is your thoughts on any of the stories we've gone over? Any um, criticisms? Any thoughts? Any feedback? Please, again. Patreon, um, if you want to give us a dollar, you can get early access to all of our videos. If you get to that $5 level, only a dollar, that'll get you an exclusive every month. Do you have any closing thoughts, Alex? Uh, just if you have, guys, if they have any topics. Yeah, if you have a topic you want to go over, right? I just kind of pulled that out of nowhere. I just kind of made yeah. that up. And just, I, I mean, was like, oh, that'd be interesting. I mean, we always need a good Alex topic thinks. if anybody wants to hear about. I mean, we'll talk about it. We'll see talk if about it's anything. You want yeah. to talk about trains? <laughs> Trains? I like, I you like want, trains. I like trains. <laughs> God, remember those videos? Uh, the laser collection, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Or that, it was either no, it was, like a, it was, yeah, laser, it was collection, laser collection, there's cyanide and happiness. I like trains and then, brown. Yeah. Cyanide and happiness. God, those are funny. Yeah, God, I love them. Oh, thank you so much again. Like, everything everywhere. Appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good week. See Bye. you next time.